Hola Camigos! I am here to do a review on the Clarice Sea Salt Solutions Deep Pore Detox Activated Charcoal Exfoliating Mask. A, a mouthful, but it's a little deluxe sample size here. It's a one ounce container. I want to excuse the no makeup because I am actually going to go ahead and give this a little demo try for you guys. So just a couple of things about this product itself. For the two ounce, which is the full size version, on Clarice is $14 and then on Amazon is $14.14. The things that stuck out when I was reading the description is that this is all natural, it's vegan friendly, gluten and cruelty free, and it's made in the USA. So those are all pluses. What drew me to this mask is actually because it can be used in two ways, as a mask or as a cleansing clay, depending on the, t I guess, the water amount and whatever, the consistency that you want it at. Let's just go ahead and uh, give this a try. So let's take a look at the product really quick. So there is that. It You can tell it's like a really fine consistency. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. It says a quarter size amount into the palm of your hand and then slowly add drops of water. So I actually have here some water that I'm gonna go ahead and do since we are going to be in front of the camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And one thing it just doesn't say, just rinse once dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a little bit. I think that's court, Ooh. put on my headband. Ow, it's in my ear. So there is some in my hand. I got my eBay haul mask thing. Yes. Okay, added too much water. <laughs> Quarter size amount is really little, so I'm gonna go ahead and add more. Oops, I added a little bit more than I'd like. I don't know why I'm doing this on my hand. Honestly, like, not a good decision. It's starting to get pasty. I mean, it's like a good paste. Okay, well, I'm gonna, it's at the consistency, the best consistency that I can go ahead and make it in, so. Again, I, you guys, I don't know why I'm putting it in my hand. <laughs> I really don't. Alright, let's just uh, put this on. So this is the best that I can do with what I have. So go ahead and wash my hand real quick. Alrighty, it is 11.19 right now. And as you can tell, it's starting to dry up. So it's only been about a minute at most and it's already dried. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and wait to see how long this takes to dry. As we're waiting, since it's not yet dry on my mouth, so uh, let me just tell you guys, do as I say, not as I do as far as the mixing is concerned. Go ahead and put it in a little tiny bowl and mix it. And don't put it in your hand like I did because I feel like you could get a better sense of consistency because it was in my hand. I just I was just gauging it. And then that's another thing. Follow the rules as far as the exact um, formula. So it's one teaspoon of mask for a half a teaspoon of water. So ultimately, I finished about a fourth of the product in here just because I just kept, oh, it needs a little bit more water. Oh, it needs a little bit more mask. I just never really was sure. And again, my fault because I didn't follow directions. Yeah, so let me go ahead and just wait for it to dry. As you can tell, it's starting to dry really fast. So 10 minute checkup. It's drying really not evenly. Just waiting for this spot to dry, a little bit of the top spot, and then I can wash it off. It's quite, quite stiff. Can't talk. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's been about 25 minutes. As you can tell, it's really dry, starting to crack. So let me go ahead and wash it off. Alrighty guys, so I am all washed and everything. I really do like how easy it was to wash it off. It really does turn into the powder that you start off with if you were to rub it while it's dry. But if you put the water on it, it automatically just breaks down and washes off so easily. I've had my fair share of masks that I'm sort of scared to do again just because it's like, it feels like, it takes forever to wash off, but this was not an issue. My face feels good. I just put some lotion and toner on it. So uh, yeah, 
but it, it, it's, a, it's a good mask. It doesn't leave my face feeling dry. Honestly, it wasn't a bad mask. I can't really say anything bad about it. The only thing that I would say is with masks like these, these powder masks that you have to add to sometimes can be eh, just because they're already masks that are in jars like so so like a mask like this this is a dead sea mud mask and it's already mixed all you have to do is just put your spatula in put it on your face it's all ready to go whereas this you're going to have to add water and you have to measure it out so for some people i know that's like not even like a big deal but for some people uh, it's just an extra step that could be a deterrent for um, people on the go or people just uh lazy you know nothing wrong with being lazy alrighty well I hope you guys like this video if you guys did go and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos by me go ahead and click that red subscribe button it would totally make my day go ahead and click on that bell as well so you can be notified of future videos as soon as I upload them alrighty well I hope you guys have a good day bye